Okay, guys. So we're in half guard. Um, the guy's got his side position. He's framing. Um, this is common. He's probably going to knee shield. So he does this from a defensive standpoint. It's hard for me to pass. Um, this creates a, a pretty good defense for him. And he can, he can develop his offensive half guard play from the bottom here. We're on top. We want to start smashing this dude. Whether it be with punches or it looks like I can just do that. But he can also block. He can keep the distance. So we don't want this kind of space. I'm going to bring my left knee forward past his knee. So right here. I don't want him to have this space open so we can replace the guard. I don't want that. Or just step on my hip. Yeah. So I'm going to bring my knee in here. And then I'm going to start swinging this hand over to the far side, trying to pop his knee shield out. Okay. He's going to be framing you to stop you from doing that. The more I start to get his hips to face up, the easier it's going to be. If, if he's framing me and pushing me, staying on his side, I have to kind of dip and come to here and get my elbow towards that far side. Once I go here, my left knee is in his hip and I've dug my toes in the mat. So it's really important. I'm, I was teach, I've been teaching this for a little bit and I've noticed a lot of students tend to kind of lay their feet like this. You know, we've got we've to dig our toes. So get some what we call active toes and, and dig the toes in the mat. The next thing I want to do, he's probably going to start putting this arm into an underhook because if he leaves this arm out, it, it, it starts to become a subject of an attack. So whether I go Americana, even though I'm probably not going to get it, it's an attack and, and also Kimura is going to be an attack. So he's probably going to hide his arm. Once we go here, um, I can underhook the leg. Sometimes I can't get my hand in here. It's kind of tight. Instead of going here, I can just grab it like this, like on the shin. Another way is grabbing over and just hooking here. Either way, I kind of like this one. I use my, my radius here, or definitely underhook is strong as well. So once we're here, we're going to walk and position his hips more or less flat and try to get him to go this way. This is what I call kill the hips. So I want to bring his knee here so I can start opening it and bringing my knee through. I want to talk briefly about him squeezing my leg and how he brings his knees to his chest. So he's kind of real tight. He's balled up. If you push his leg, you can't get your leg out of half guard. So what I want to understand is I want to be able to see my toes from my point of view. I, want to, I, would, I would love to be able to. I don't have to, but man, it'd be nice. If I could just see my toes here. So I want to bring my foot towards his butt. You can do that by uh, kind of extend your leg, like keep tight. Yeah, no, not lock out, but just keep my leg down. Yeah, so I can't pull my leg through. If you have to hike your knees up, hike your knees up. Yeah, there you go. Now it's tough. So I grab his leg and I step up here. Sometimes you can do this by going heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. And then now my elbow. I can use that and I slide his leg right off. He tries to bring it up, I stop it with my hand. My knee's dropping towards the mat. Okay, our knee goes towards the mat, and then next, we're gonna start, he's probably gonna start working on getting that leg back in the half guard. I'm gonna let Dan do that. He's gonna use his left elbow or his hand, and he's gonna hip escape, and, wait, hip escape out, recover. No, no, out, yeah, there you go. And then now once he's here, he's recovered his position again. So again, I'll do it again. Here, push. Sometimes when you push, it's okay, other times, Watch out for this guy with long arms. He might reach with his right hand and capture your wrist from the inside. Yeah, reach, oh, oh, that's bad. He'll double up on the wrist and then he can bridge and roll you, no problem. You're gonna lose position. So be careful of reaching back. You know, I've seen a lot of guys reach back for the leg and they get caught. So if you ever do reach back, you need to have your elbow in, see that? Or you just use your elbow, okay? And then when my hand's here, notice he can't reach inside, okay? So now, my knee drops down. As he starts to recover, I'm gonna pummel an underhook. As I pummel the underhook, I'm gonna start walking my hand. But this is not gonna work. Why is it not gonna work? Because he's gonna clamp down, and his head can always move to his right. I can never, like, I can never keep walking his arm up. I've gotta go capture his head. Capture the head. Now I'm under the, the back of the skull. 
he tries to move, and now I'm gonna bring these two points together. As I bring them together, I like to keep my right hand flat and left hand on the forearm. So I come up the forearm here. Don't bring your elbows in. He'll clamp you, he'll close it up. You, you might get rolled. Bring it up here, okay? And when he's trying to move, squeeze, I'm squeezing and he's trying to move. My right knee is heavy. My right knee is heavy. I can never leave a gap. He'll recover the half guard. You can't do that. You gotta keep your knee back down and then open my right hip joint so there's pressure and then my left foot gets in. I square up my hips. I never leave my feet behind. I never pull my right leg out and leave my left foot, okay? So once you have them both, you, you know, he's got that one. I get in here, I'm prying them out. They both get through the door at the same time, okay? He's trying to move around. We can go cross ankles. We can go grapevine hook, okay? Don't get excited and get up here right away. Wear the guy out, and then once you're ready, you can get arm triangle positions, stuff like that, and arm bars, and finish the guy. I went really slow, a lot of talk. I'm gonna go a little quicker. We'll probably do it two more times. So we'll try to absorb and we'll go a little quicker. How do we set up the position? He's on his side, he's got an initial, he's got some frames. He can't pass his guard. You're like trying to get, stay on top of this guy's tough. My knee goes inside, my left hand swings around. I come back here, I try to underhook the leg. I'm walking, walking, walking. I can see my toes. Bring that down with my elbow in as my knee. See how he's trying to push your leg? Get the underhook. Remember, I can't just walk this up. Come get the head. My knee stays heavy right here, guys, because I, I can't have my right knee in the air. Knee stays down, so he can't recover guard. Walk, walk, walk. Not in the armpit. Up out where the elbow is. Round. Connect. Dip my hip a little bit with my right hip so my left foot can get in easy. Don't do this. I can't get it. I can't get it. Tip. Put that foot in, don't leave a leg behind, okay? Once you guys are here, you have great control. Great vine hooks, crossed ankles, however you like. Block with your chin, post, turn, drop. One more, here, post, drop. Now I'm in good position. Swivel off, drop down, squeeze, get that choke. One more time, quickly. Half guard, he's framing up properly, okay? And I can't leave this knee too open. I've got to occupy the space inside. Boom, as I'm turning this way, I'm dipping my hip, swinging my hand around. If he's trying to sweep you, he gets an underhook. So that, I can hold this leg, keeping my balance. Active toes, walk, 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 kill the hips. Underhook comes in, he's trying to, if he clamps you right here, go ahead and lock your hands. Yeah, lock your hands. Yeah, I, I don't want this. If this happens, sometimes I have to pull out and base. Sometimes I'm gonna have to threaten right here with a little punch joke. So if he's, if he's keeping his elbow and you can't pummel, right here, you can't pummel, or he just drops his elbow on the mat, but he kind of stays put, just start to attack his neck. As you start to attack, look for here. Clamp, clamp, bop, bop. Look at my body, okay. Sit back and I'm here. Bring it in, bring it in, lock it up, tip. Foot goes in, try it, move them out, walk, walk, walk. Adjust, adjust, swivel off, windshield wipe your legs, drop down, and arm triangle choke. Have some fun. One, two, three. Uh, on that choke. Like I, uh, when I see this position here, uh, just lay on your back right here. Yeah, and I have an arm triangle. And I'm like this, like, I know I can finish down like this, but it's, it's not good. So any, just, you don't have to use a lot. Just use very little resistance, opening your elbow. And I'm squeezing, it's gonna take a while to put Dan out. And I finally got him. And that was probably five seconds, I assume. So now watch, simple adjustment. Hold, drop, then my head comes in, no hands. Oh, he's tapping already. I thought I was gonna have to get to two or three. So you guys help, you know, and I didn't even lock. So the point is you wanna drop this and lower the shoulder. You're gonna get that choke a lot better, okay?
Um, all right, it's already 11. I showed you guys one move. What, what, uh, do you guys have any questions? That's because I did such a good job. Mm -hmm. I hope. Um, again, guys, like, I, as I watch you, there's, there's little things that I could nitpick at, but overall, I thought you guys did a decent job of it. And even if you don't get it, you're not ever going to get something in one day, but just keep building it. I always say build the structure, the, you know, the, the format, build the half guard, understand where your hips should be, learn a couple new things each day. Dan did this yesterday, so he's probably, you know, like getting all these little nuggets of, of information down. Uh, the One of the things that I saw that we're not using very much is the foot towards the butt. And so I'll just briefly go over that again. Look at my right foot right here. When I'm here, if this will get your leg through, if you're having six here, see where my foot is? Like if Dan squeezes his legs, I will push his leg and get my feet through. <clears throat> but even better, even better, like if he's squeezing really hard and I can't like get that last little bit, because I'm trying to just like, see that? Now my foot is on the mat, my knee is pointing towards the ceiling. He squeezes all he wants and I just, there. See that? No matter what. But when your leg is back here, he squeezes, you're gonna be like, uh, uh. So there's kind of two things here. This, but also this way. So if my foot is back like this and he's pinching, I will get it through because of the angle, the way my knee bends, it's bending through this space as opposed to this, like I can't bring my knee up, you see that? But if my knee was pointing this way, like straight up, it's easier to pull my knee, you see that? But I don't wanna turn back this way too much, you know, I, I, I'm more not doing that. I hope this is all kind of making sense to you. So, what, but what, when I bring my foot up, I, my knee can be pointing like this, but it's just like a falling off the cliff of a mountain. It just falls right off. And then your hand, push. Not like this, right here. Straightening out my elbow, so when he brings his left leg to his chest, I'm blocking him, my knee goes down, okay? I think that's something that we can, we can kind of improve on. Um, any questions? Can we start with the cross face instead of over the Yes, so, so I, I'm doing this with my elbow to the far side. Remember, this stemmed from the first part where I couldn't, I couldn't get him on his back and he was blocking me. So what I'm doing is bringing my knee inside, I can't get the cross face, and I swam it all the way over to get to this kind of position. Now sometimes when you're here, you're gonna say, coach, I know that there's a back take he's got. Remember this, with your elbow on this side, if he ever has a guard replacement situation, oh no, what happened? Something went wrong. I gave up my back. So when something like that happens, you quickly understand that you make this space by, not by design, but he gets the guard replacement. Go ahead, start to replace guard with your right foot. I'm just giving you the gap, go ahead. I have to quickly like get up and then as he's coming towards my back, he's sitting up going to my back. I move my hand to the other side of his head and then I crowd his hips and get back to here. Okay, get back to here. Um, so one answer to that problem of him exploiting the back take is to take your, you, maybe you get to here, is to take your left hand and come back and swipe and get the head now. And now you can use a shoulder pressure. You can kind of get a grip here, use a shoulder pressure and do the same technique. Elbow, slide. I've already got his head. He pushes on my knee or whatever. And now I'm pummeling and getting into here. Remember, if he keeps his elbow in and he won't give it to you, we start to threaten the neck. And then now out of the choke, he'll fight hard to get inside. And when he fights hard, that's when I will capture. You're gonna have guys clamp their elbow hard. We have to know how to do this, guys. I don't want to have my left hand like this. I don't want this. This is good, but watch. my The bone of my forearm goes just under the the back of his head. Instead of his neck, it's on his head. 
I don't go too much because his head will hit the mat. But I'm like right here. Now when he's trying to close everything, I'm able to bring this up and it's strong. If I do it here, it'll still work, I promise you. But it's, I'm talking about small points of, of, of increasing your, your technique. This is good though. I could, I could use a little bit of choke feature. Clap it. Eventually I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get him. I'll get him. But man, now clap. It's so much, a little bit easier. Look, forearm, I don't go to here. I get guys grabbing their tricep muscle and closing their right elbow. Now the guy reaches, swims over like you're, like you're going up big chest and you kind of wrap, yeah, and clap the arm. And now I'm like, oh no. And I spread my base, he gets his elbow out, and I gotta start all over. So, when you guys get here, you don't let him back in to the fight. We're, we're coming here, I go to my form, I close my elbow, but not down here. My, my arm isn't like this. It's, see my right hand? It's strong. I can place my elbow down, but when he opens his left elbow, there's no movement. There's no movement. If he rocks and rolls me a little bit, there's no way. Look at my base over here with my left foot. Look at my right knee. See my right knee thrust. Stop pulling your foot out like this. You're letting the guy ball up. If he balls up, you're never gonna get your foot in. See? And if he balls up, he may threaten a roll. He might threaten a roll when you're trying. If he starts to roll, I'm like, oh. And I gotta start all over. Damn, the details. Here, knee thrust. Look at this. She's trying to hold that foot, and now if it, it gets it easy. Remember guys, when you go through, look, look, apply some force. It's okay to raise your butt slightly and get through, okay? Don't leave your buddy hanging, okay? Don't leave your buddy hanging. All right, that's all I have. We're gonna, if you guys, give me, give me one more rep each, and then we're gonna get some live training and half guard, okay? Let's go, one, two, three. Hope you guys enjoyed. Teach me.